Welcome back to Fab Automotive Detailing. You guys, I bought a cheap upgrade for my truck. I'm gonna bring you guys along for the install and see if it actually changes the performance of my truck at all. Let's do it. All right, you guys, so that cheap upgrade that I bought for my truck is a nine drive throttle controller. This is off of Amazon. This is a cheap version of like the pedal commander. Um, this is, I think $60 on Amazon. I read tons of great reviews. I watched videos on YouTube about this before I decided to pull the trigger of guys that used it and it really, really helped improve the performance of their truck. Now, why do you buy a throttle pedal controller? By the way, it is made in China. That's the downside when you buy the cheap stuff. Um, but this is $59 versus right now $349 for the throttle or pedal commander. Why do I want this for my truck? So back in the day when you had a cable from your throttle pedal to your throttle body, the second you pressed your throttle pedal down, it pulled the cable this direction, which opened the butterfly valve on the throttle body, which allowed air into the engine and depending on how much, how far you push it down, how much air it lets in, how much, RPMs is going to be built up in the engine because all the air coming in. Now everything is done electrically. So your throttle pedal has two sensors on it, two throttle position sensors on the pedal, then you have sensors on your throttle body. And so what has to happen is when you press the pedal down, the computer has to read both sensors. One goes up, one goes down, has to read both sensors, and then it has to tell the throttle body what to do, and the throttle body has to open. So there's a lag when you press the pedal down. One thing you guys are going to not believe when I tell you is how much power that little little controller is going to give me how much horsepower that's going to increase my truck it's amazing it's zero it adds zero horsepower it's just removing the lag out of the pedal makes the pedal come to life makes it more touchy so you can take off when you want to take off and it immediately go instead of that lag so what i want is i want to, when i'm towing especially um if i'm on the interstate and i need to pass somebody and i give it give it the juice sometimes it, it lags and then it goes and that drives me nuts. Another thing is this is supposed to turn the eco mode off. I'm hoping that it does. We'll find out. Um, my light doesn't work on my eco mode anyways, but I can tell when it's on because when I'm driving down the road, you'll hear it go like that. And then as you give it gas, and then it goes, you know, so that's eco mode. Ugh, I hate eco mode. It's really, really hard on the cam and lifters on these engines, uh, whether Chevy or Dodge with the eco mode, it, it's not very good on them. Uh, both have issues with them. So I'm hoping that it'll turn the eco mode off also. And like I said, I'll know when I do that, but it'll also help you just all around. You can actually put it in um, fuel saver mode where you can get two to 3% increase in miles per gallon. And from what I read and from what I watched, people said that is true. They actually got an increase in their miles per gallon. And then you have, you have three modes. Bear with me, let me take it out the package really quick. So here are the modes that it has, you guys. It has comfortable mode, sport mode, and then racing mode. Then you have fuel efficient mode, normal mode, which puts it back to normal operation as it was as if it wasn't plugged in, automatic mode, and then manual mode. Um, I would probably drive it most likely in comfortable mode most of the time. It just depends on what I'm doing and what it feels like, I don't know. But every mode, like P1, goes from one to nine, and then same thing with sport, and uh, racing mode and every and everything you guys so it's uh, something that i'm gonna have to try to figure out on the fly as i'm doing this and i'll show you how small it is how size there's the size of my hand which kind of gives you guys an idea it does have some 3m backing or tape on the back of it this is going to connect to this little box and then you're going to feed this up to your controller that's it it's going to be a really quick install i'm going to show you guys how to do it Let's get, I want to, then we're going to get on the road and I'm going to see if this actually changes the performance at all. All right, you guys, so I'm going to do my best to show you. So this is the top of the throttle pedal right here. That's the connector we need to take off. I don't know if I'm going to be able to even give us any light. Let's see if I can hold this up here. Probably not. Yeah, you can see it good enough. When you get in there, I need to press on this tab. There we go, pull that up and off. That's all you're gonna do there. Okay, so then after that, we're gonna plug the new one in. Until you hear it click, and you're gonna press the safety tab down like that. Now, I'm gonna put the camera down to do this one. I probably can't show you because I'm gonna have to use both hands 
I'll try. Probably won't be able to show you guys, but. Got to use both hands to get in here. I got to plug the factory connector into this one. Oh. Just like that, it snapped. Okay, so now all we have left to do is plug this connector right here into that black box I showed you. And oh, this is this is a definitely a very cheap design here. Of course, for sixty bucks, what do you expect? Okay, that is in, and now I'm gonna route this up so I can mount it. But I'm gonna have to take a couple of these screws out. So I'll, I'll get back to you here in a second. Okay, so what I did is I just took these screws out really quick, moved it back enough that I could pull the wire through here. I don't want to mount it yet because I don't know how bright it's going to be at nighttime and I don't like bright lights in my eyes when I'm driving. So I'm going to temporarily hook it up as we do the test, but eventually I'll probably mount it here just depending on uh, what, how bright the light is at nighttime. But yeah, that's it. Um, put the, I'm going to zip tie it up out of the way, make sure it's up out of the way, and we'll put the uh, screen on it and we'll get going. All right, so what we got to do now is we just got to plug it in Try to hold you guys so you may be able to see me plug it in. Just like that. And then we're gonna turn the key on and see what this thing does. Okay, it's on P2.6 right now. Hopefully you guys can see that. Let me turn my blower down. Hit accept there. P2.6. So that would be sport mode and levels of 0.6. So Let's hit the mode. There's three, which would be racing. There's the economy. There's your normal. And then there's P1, which would be your comfortable mode. Accelerate the throttle res response speed, start faster, smooth acceleration options, one through nine. So then you go up from there to C. This would be your lowest setting. And then 1.9 would be your highest setting. So let me get the GoPro mounted and we'll take this thing for a drive and see what it does. Hopefully it doesn't. Let's see if it sets a check engine light though. Some people say it did, but they had to just clear the code one time and it never came back. My check engine light is right there and it's not on. All right, you guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on comfort mode 1.9. I'll start out the highest, just see if I see a diff or feel a difference in the pedal. Okay, we're at complete stop. Just wanna see. Oh crap, yeah, actually, big difference. Holy crap, okay, and that's just comfort mode. Okay, so let's move it up to uh, sport mode, 2.9, maybe 2.9 sport mode. Hopefully you guys can see that. No cars are coming behind me. <laughs> I mean, it's, yeah, that's crazy. Just gonna barely throttle into it. I mean, oh. <laughs> it pushes you back. Okay, let's just go for the big boy here. 3.9 race mode. It's 3.9. Oh. <laughs> oh, holy crap. I mean, that just... Now, it's not as crazy as I thought it was going to be. I will tell you that because the videos I watched, people said, oh, you, whoa, look out. Where are you guys going? I don't have you stuck to the windshield. You stuck to the dash, but that don't have to work, hopefully. Um, the videos that I watched, um, the guy said that it, it spin the tires in sport mode in 3.9. Well, I mean, it's, it's not. I'll tell you that much right now. But... It will go when you want it to now. Is it worth $60? I don't know. We'll find out as I drive it more and more. But as of right now, I'd say no. Um, but that could all change. 
you guys would hold yourself. That'd be a lot easier. Okay. I hope this car is not following me. Okay, he's not. Okay, we're going to stop. We're going to put it back in normal mode so I can see what it feels like. Okay. There's normal. This is going to put it back to normal. Yeah, see, there's, there is definitely a lag um, when you when you give it gas. So let me drive it in normal mode for a minute, and then we'll put it in, in back in the race mode, and we'll see if it seems like it changed it. I know it does. Okay. We're going to take off really quick from normal mode, and then we're going to stop, and we'll take off in the race mode. Get okay, dead stop. I'm going to go full throttle. Okay. Now, we'll put it in race mode. Let me get to where I'm not right in front of somebody's house. Just because I am respectful, and the exhaust is a little loud on this thing. Race mode is P3.9. I'm going to go full throttle. Okay, yeah, big difference. Hear that? Holy crap. Oh, okay, it might be worth $60. <laughs> All right, you guys, so it has been two months. Um, I've been driving around with this for two months. I wanted to make sure that I could give you guys a really good idea of if this thing is worth $60 or not. In my mind, Yes, it's definitely worth $60. It changes the performance of the vehicle off the line. And while you're driving and you want to get on it, like when I'm towing, because I have towed with it on it now, because it made a big difference in towing to, to me. Um, it, it makes a difference while you're going 60 miles an hour and you get on it to pass somebody on the interstate or whatever. It definitely takes that lag out, which is awesome. I have driven it in the eco mode just to see if I get better miles per gallon. I did it for about a day and I said, I'll never do that again because that makes puts so much lag in the pedal, it's not funny. It's worse than just factory. Um, I see how it can save you fuel mileage because it's not letting you get into it like you normally would. I keep mine on 1.9 and this is where I mounted it, right here. It's the perfect spot. I can see it every time I get in the truck and I start it um, and it doesn't blind me. The blue light is not really bright at nighttime. It's perfect. I can tell you that I wasn't sure at first when I said in the video, is it worth 60 hours? At that time, I no, I was gonna say no. Um, but I have been driving for two months. I let my boss drive it and he was like, holy crap. You know, just it's just that initial feeling you get when you hit the pedal. It takes that lag out. And he's like, man, that made a, that made a big difference, which it does. Um, would I pay $350 for this type of performance like um, Pedal Commander? No, I would not pay $350 for that. It's not worth that. $60, okay. Uh, it kind of makes sense, especially for what I want it for, but I wouldn't pay $350 for something like this. But to go on Amazon and buy this for $60 uh, all day, any day, I, I would definitely do it for my Ram truck for sure because it just, it, it definitely did it. Now, does it or does it turn the eco mode off like I've heard people say it does? No, my eco light still turns on. My eco light was shut off through my radio for some reason, so I turned it back on. Um, and it it's definitely still turns on. You can feel the, the engine bog down when you're doing 55, 60 miles an hour. It cuts down to four cylinders. You can definitely feel it. It's still doing it. That's kind of disappointing. I wanted to get rid of that because the only way to really turn eco mode off, at least on my 13, is you have to put it in tow mode. That's it. And I don't want to drive this thing around in tow mode. I'd be going through so much fuel. Um, but as far as overall, is it worth $60? Yes. This nine drive works beautifully. It's worked great for the last two months, you guys. I really enjoy it. Um, I turn it down. My wife gets in it because she's she, she's a driver, man. <laughs> she's I'm an old man driver. She's not. She will get it and she will go. Uh, so I always put it back on normal mode when she when I know she's going to be driving it. Just don't tell her that I do that. But yeah, you guys, definitely worth it. Adds zero horsepower, but does make the truck more fun to drive. I can tell you that much right now. So hopefully you guys, if you were on Amazon, you were looking at this and wondering this nine drive was worth the money. Hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. Uh, if you have a Ram truck and you're like, man, I want to add something like that. I want to do the pedal commander. I don't think the pedal commander be worth the money, um, but you guys can make up the decision yourself. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and checking it out. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below, join the fab family. We'd love to have you. We'll see you in the next video.